Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Alright guys, before I get started with today's video, I would like to take a moment to say a big thank you to my subscribers. Uh, I just hit 9,000 subscribers. I'm really, really happy with that. So I would like to thank you for your support. Alright, now that said, let's get on with it. Okay, so in front of you is part of a torso with an arm. And as most of you who know my channel know, I typically don't do characters. So uh, this is kind of a new thing for me. And it's not because I'm going to do characters, but it's because I'm going to address a question that I received. All right. So if I right click on this guy, go to object mode and hit three, this should look somewhat like a torso with an arm. OK, now the question that I got was this. Uh, I did a few videos on UV mapping and so forth. And um, I was asked, OK, but how do you approach organic uh, objects, animals, characters and so forth? And how do you approach the UV layout? So that's what this video is about. OK, now I modeled this and I just uh, I'll hit one to go back and I just um, went to create UVs and then uh, planar mapping. OK, and that resulted in this and I'll show you in the UV text editor. OK. So we've got all sorts of stuff going on here. And as you can see, it's not very clean yet. All right. Now we need to move and sew some edges. We need to cut some edges, etc. Now what's important to know in this scenario is that you're applying a 2D texture to a 3D object. OK, that's to deal with UV mapping. Now, when you do that, it's like um, wrapping a piece of paper around you know, a book or whatnot. And when you take a 2D object, at some point, the two ends of the 2D object will uh, touch and that will be your texture seam, okay? And you don't really want to have a texture seam going uh, down the front of your character, okay? So when you are character modeling, what you would do is you would approach it like it were clothes, okay? So if you were wearing a t-shirt, you would have um, a seam in the t-shirt probably running somewhere around here. I'll go to right click edge. You would have a seam running down the top of your arm and you would probably have a seam running from the bottom of your arm down your side, okay? So that's what we want to achieve while doing our UV uh, map, okay? So how do you do that? Well, this is our basic layout so far. And like I said, it's not really clean yet. So we're going to right click. We're going to go to shell and we're going to select this guy and see what we got. It's not too bad. We have a couple of parts missing like these. So we're going to connect those. All right. So we want to connect this on this edge. All right. So we're going to right click. We're going to go to edge. We're going to select this edge. And you can see that the edge that is shown down here is corresponding to that one up there. OK, so we're going to go up to move and sew. And that is now connected. OK, right click shell, select it again. So what else is missing? We'll take this little guy up here, select it. OK, we want that connected from either this edge right here. So this one or this one we will go with this one. It's right there. It's corresponding to the little one over there. We're going to move and sew. All right. Right click shell once again. Now we got a section down here. This one, same deal. We're going to right click, go to edge, connect it at this end. Uh, let's see our edge is right there. It's corresponding with the one over there. Move and sew. There you go. Right click shell once again. Let's see if this is our seam. It is. So this side looks okay. Front looks mostly okay with the exception of this shoulder piece, the section. So we're going to right click. We're going to go to this edge right here. Corresponds to that one over there. Move and sew. Once again, right click shell. Almost there. We got one up here. There we go. We want to connect that from this edge. Corresponds to that little one over there. Move and sew. 
right click shell let's look at the section of the lower arm there you go right click edge connect from here move and so right click face we have this section right click go to edge that one right there move and so and now if you right click and go to shell and select it you have uh, hang on we got two more pieces these two right there let's right click at edge on that edge move and so right click shell you now have your entire front section of your body okay you'll do the same at this end now we do have some um, some overlap here so we need to unfold that but that's not really the point of this uh, this explanation um, so that's how you approach it okay if you have a specific clothing style that you're using on your model where you uh, prefer to have a seam on the back right obviously you would do that but this is kind of the approach related to characters wearing clothing and so forth now Obviously, you wouldn't have a t-shirt going all the way up the neck. You would kind of uh, exclude this row, for example, or maybe even these two. And you would have your clothing run from there and maybe up to, let's say, here. Okay, so you'd have this section going on in the front and then you would have that section going on in the back okay that's the best way that i can explain it so hopefully this was helpful if you got any questions let me know i'd be glad to help and that said thanks for watching bye